वेलकम टू पी एन के स्टॉक्स फिफ्टीन लास्ट वीडियो थियरेटिकली वी सा बोलिंग बैंड एंड हाउ मेनी वेज दैट वी कैन ट्रेड विथ डिफरेंट सेटअप थियरेटिकली टूडे विल सी प्रैक्टिकली इन द चार्ट दैट इफ वन कैन मास्टर इट हाउ इजली यू कैन डू इंट्राडे ट्रेडिंग पोजिशनल और स्विंग ट्रेडिंग or even investing intraday trading you can work with from 3 minutes to 16 minutes swing trading you can work on 60 minutes chart and 240 minutes chart and positional trading from one day chart and investing we can do with the weekly chart with the same setups if you increase the time frame you will be increasing the duration and also you are increasing the profitability out of all intraday will be bit risky but if you select good stocks high volatility stocks and if you trade then you can minimize the risk and uh, maximize the profit as a standard dissimilar please read this you know as i always suggest do first year paper trading second year with a limited quantity third year onwards if you are successful out of uh, you know uh, 10 trades seven trades are successful then you know entire universe is yours so now let us see the practicality <clears throat> so bollinger invite invented this bollinger band concept and uh, the name also given his name to this strategy i can tell you more than 60% of the population in one way or other way they are using bollinger bands concept is very simple only one indicator if you master it it's easy for you to work so let us see now how we can uh, work on bollinger band so it look like this three lines one line on the top one line on the bottom and uh, middle one is the mediator wire this is called 20 moving averages on the top and bottom there is a fixed 2 deviation standard deviation kind of a difference will be there i'll show you on the chart how this will be drawing if bollinger bands almost horizontal that means market will be sideways in this way if you see market is on sideways prices will come here the middle moving average will definitely acts as a resistance if you see a big candle breaks that then price definitely go on top and uh, when you see on the top there is a high possibility that you can see a reversible candlestick pattern on the top something similar to this so 
sorry for my drawings if you see this reversible candle kind of a stuff then what will happen market will start falling there is a possibility of holding on the moving average this time when price is coming from top to bottom this line will act as a resistance uh, support if this breaks price will come to the bottom in the bottom again there is a possibility of having a reversible candlestick kind of a pattern this you know that right reverse hammer here bullish engulfing from here price will go up from here price will come down from here price will go up when there is a side market side market could be very safe for you to trade if bands are bit away from it it should not be narrow you know from here to here you should capture the target from here to here you should capture the target in that case sideways market could be easy one why because price will fluctuate there itself you can easily trace out the candlestick formation hammer candle goes up reverse handle cam candle comes down bullish engulfing goes up you can easily trace out but what you should do is that when you want to do you need to select stocks one day prior or else weekly once whatever so as we discussed you know for bullish thing we need to select a stock something like this if you see chart pattern stock should be in this way higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low if you find this kind of a stock pattern what happened bollinger band middle line this is 20 ema line on top bollinger band at the bottom bollinger band so when you see a bullish stock almost it look like this at the 20 it will take support goes up at the upper band it will take resistance come back at the 20 it will take support at the upper band it will take resistance come back at the 20 sometimes if market falls bit heavy that time prices will come up to here again it will join if market comes here again it will join <coughs> So now in this case what will happen a bullish candlestick formation will happen here a bullish candlestick form forms here any any bullish bullish candlestick formation here there could be a bearish candlestick formation candle big doji and a red candlestick formation this is called evening star hope you understand now on a bullish stock hope you understand what is bullish stocks how to select bullish stocks or bearish stocks for trading next day if you don't know so go to my candlestick formation work out that and there are around 12 videos i made only how to pick stocks for intraday trading go and work, uh, see that videos and uh, select those stocks before you trading so stocks those are all bullish as i told you higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low they'll form 
So if you find those stocks and Bollinger Band will suggest you where to buy, where to buy, where to buy. And once you buy here, you'll put SL and upper Bollinger Band could be your target and your entry is here. In this case, entry here below to the candle SL, first target and second target. Similarly, entry, SL, first target, second target. Hope you understand on buy sites, we need to target stocks one day prior, which is making higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low kind of a stocks. Now the same way, we don't know tomorrow, right? Tomorrow could be a positive day or else negative day. So now how we can select stocks for positive day or else negative day? That is the reason better you select 5 to 6 positive stocks, 5 to 6 negative stocks. If nifty on first 15 minutes you see it's a negative day trading minus 100 points or minus 75 points. Then only select bearish stocks that you selected yesterday and work only on short side till at least 130. If market reverse from there, you can still work buy side on them. And if T is positive more than 100 points or 75 points, then uh, work only on the 5-6 stocks that are making higher high, higher low. Now, as we saw bullish stocks, how we need to find out. Let us see now bearish stocks list. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. This is 20 moving average. This is Bollinger Band top. This is Bollinger Band bottom line. Now it's easy for you, right? This is your entry point. This is your target point. This is your entry point. This is your target point. Entry, target. Entry, target. Entry, target. So this simple it is. So when you are taking entry, you should have some kind of a candlestick formation. Candle should be a small greed candle. Bigger red candle could be bearish engulfing. When it comes here, you may be finding one bullish hammer or bullish engulfing like that. But I'm not telling you to enter here and exit here. You can still hold for this kind of a entry. In that case, you need to watch the market. What happens when you enter here, say 500 quantity equity. Exit at least 25%, 125 quantity here. Let the market run and give more result. Exit another 125 quantity. Then exit somewhere here, total quantity. Say at 11 a.m. you are exiting something, at 12 a.m. something like that. On a good bearish day, say Nifty is around 150 points or whatever, in that case, you will be finding this. If Nifty is, you know, around 50 points negative, minus 150, 50, minus 50 points negative something, then you should not wait till entire day. You need to book half year and another half year. Now, hope you understand how Bollinger Band works and uh, how we need to trade. Let us see now in the chart. Now, we'll cover few things in this, you know, squeeze expansion working on the bands reverse from top reverse from the bottom at least this why today for this we need a chart <coughs> this is a fresh nifty star uh, chart today 23rd november at 6 30 evening i'm making this trade you may be having 5 minutes chart or 15 minutes chart up to one hour chart that you can work.
for one hour chart challenges will be very less and uh, for that you need to have a patience to exit your trade even the next day if you trade with 30 minutes most probably you will be entering and you will be exiting on the same day and 15 minutes could be good for intraday trades so now let us plot bollinger band indicator you will be getting lot of bollinger band thing you should need a standard bollinger band when you click this you can find one uh, orange line on top of it two red lines now you have some idea that whatever we discussed theoretically you can see them right away price is at the bottom it gone up from there it reached below from here it gone up from there it reached lower Bollinger Band and see it, from here it want to come down here itself but 20 moving average taken support it stayed some time and then it come final year again started moving up if you go here and see the deviation thing whatever we discussed 20 is the red line moving average 20 and the upper Bollinger Band bottom Bollinger Band standard deviation is 2 that what we discussed okay now some people what they do they'll plot two bollinger bands and second bollinger band they make three as standard deviation have you seen now sometimes what happens price will go It will happen more in the bank nifty. Let us see. On out of the band, but not on the second Bollinger band and it will come back. See this. It will come back. So for easy understanding, if a candle is in between forming red candle, people will think that market is getting reversed that is the reason they plot to but we don't require that kind of a Bollinger Band now we'll work with the standard Bollinger Band and we'll see <clears throat> as we need to see the first is the squeezing part what is the squeezing strategy that we need to understand I'll get good example. That's the reason I'm just checking. Yes. We have something where, you know, if you see that prices are squeezed and uh, it was worked in a rectangle formation. Once the candle breaks below to that, this candle broken. That time, what we do? One is to three, almost risk to reward kind of a thing. Once the candle breaks out of this box, the small squeeze thing, you can short sell on below to the candle and uh, put your SL on top of it and you can write 1 is to 2 easily. Here you got almost 1 is to 3 kind of a risk to reward. Same thing here as well. On full day, it's almost in the same range squeeze in the Bollinger Band see here Bollinger Band see here Bollinger Band you will come to know <coughs> when it 
this is happened on entire day we, they didn't given any hint next day opened itself a gap down and you got the trade but you didn't find the entry on previous day i'm just showing as an example for you sometimes what happens big players know the weakness of small players but still see how narrow it become lines from here even narrow even narrow further narrow when it breaks if you enter this is your profit but actually big players want to make it upside but for few candles they made down and initially they moved the price up now let us see the same strategy in stock as well <clears throat> just now we discussed right this is the squeeze stuff from here when it broken this is your profit but just now we discussed big players what they do before they want to move down the market they'll move up few candles to trap our novice investors in that case what you need to do when you enter on top of this candle when the third candle getting reversed inside the bollinger band you need to exit at cost to cost of few loss when same thing happened at the bottom this is your entry and this entire thing is your profit you should have some kind of a understanding on the squeeze thing if you hit your sl then you need to do the reverse trade on the same thing can you see that narrow thing stuff the neck kind of a stuff on the body once price broken this level this could be the first day of the candle first day of the candle we should not trade this is the candle that broken this range entry almost you, you can work till top of the bollinger band or else up to here and sl could be somewhere below to the candle if the band is bit longer one is to four kind of a risk to reward okay the second stuff is that you know expansion whenever if there is a range and breakout happens we'll be getting a lot of profit at the same time expansion will happen from here it's a small one see that a bigger expansion see this expansion if expansion happens and if you find a reversible candlestick something like this your entry your sl your profit and you see it hit the profit and if you see 1 is to 2.5 kind of a risk to reward what happens here on the top, uh, after narrow thing market opened and you know you got a profit 
then there is a reverse candle and you can see the expansion see this width of the bollinger band see this kind of width of the bollinger band when expansion happens if you find a reversible candlestick formation your entry and your exit you should bit careful on 20 moving average for us here there is a reverse hammer, hand, uh, hammer kind of a candle we can easily stay in the market till you get your trade when price reaches below bollinger band and it may go up to the 20 moving average and it will fall, fall further because when you see such a big big red candles across price might go a bit higher again it will come down in that case when you will be happy with that you know seeing that when you see this kind of a curve on the top bollinger band curve that time you can exist or else if a bollinger band top band should be horizontal or else if you find a curve on the downside then you can stay in the trade to make this huge profit let us see one more can you see this expansion such a big expansion after this narrow breakout this expansion we don't find any example here but you can see the expansion the answer to this expansion could be this is the profit that they made after this uh, narrow squeeze this profit from there it gone up you may treat this in that way see here again after this squeeze this is the profit that you got huge profit when you find a squeeze this will be a huge profit when you see reverse candlestick formation on top of the bollinger band see here evening star kind of a candle green candle doji or hammer candle forming on the top doesn't make sense could be treated as a doji and red candle if you enter here on the end of the day this could be last candle of the day or else next day morning this is your profit all right now let's see the next one reverse from the top reverse from the bottom so now bollinger band on the top how we need to trade bollinger band on the bottom how we need to trade for that we need to plot vwap this blue line indicates vwap line apart from the red line that moving averages that what we discussed so easy way to understand is if a candle forms outside the bollinger band it should not touch the bollinger band any lines see this green candle i'll uh, just close the view app line not this one this one see this green candle next red candle where these candles formed out of the bollinger band now let us form when that forms and any candle comes inside the bollinger band and that candle should close below to the vwap line this is the candle closed below to the vwap line this is your entry and uh, price is not going down so you can exit almost at the vwap line still you got 3.5 kind of a risk to reward <coughs> we'll see another example gap up gap downs still we can trade using this 
candle should form outside the bollinger band this is gap down gap down when forms candle should close on the top of the uh, vwap nothing happened here we'll see that example as well this is a good trade but we didn't get much profit this is your entry <clears throat> this is your sl initially when this when two three candles formed you can bring back your sl above to the bwap line market end somewhere here this could be your profit we didn't get much could be one is to not even one is to one kind of a profit that what we got at this uh, we we worked a similar kind of a you know thing candle formed out of the bollinger band when price comes inside and candle closes below vwap this is your profit now we'll see something at the bottom we'll search and we'll see gap down somewhere these things will happen more on nifty bank nifty fin nifty in this indexes it will happen more frequently can you see this this candle formed first candle touched the bollinger band so we should not consider second candle formed out of the bollinger band and that candle itself below to the <coughs> vwap line so we should not enter in this candle but the candle should enter inside the bollinger band that time you need to consider short position when you consider this candle below when this candle formed inside this is your entry see the profit that candle top could be your sl 1 is to 4.5 main key points the 20 moving average we need to see after entering second candle itself very easily it break in the 20 moving average line then slowly pressure is getting lesser but again we see a bigger candle we can continue till the price reaches lower band of our bollinger band and you can exit but you may exit half of the quantity in the 20 moving average as well <coughs> Now we need to see one buy kind of a setup. Sell side will get more profit than buy side, but still we'll see one buy side uh, entry. Could be we may see in the bank nifty. Let us see. right we have one here i'll just close the vwap thing can you see a green line formed outside the bollinger band this is the candle when you plot vwap one two three fourth candle this candle formed on top of the bollinger band and uh, this is your sl and on the top of the bollinger band your entry shall we check the risk to reward on this on the buy side this is your entry this is your sl on top of the bollinger band is your profit you got one is to three point six
so now we worked a squeeze expansion reverse from the top reverse from the bottom we need to see now walking on the bands kind of a trading strategy walking on the band could be good if you identified correctly <clears throat> Let us consider Bollinger Band This is the top of the Bollinger Band and you find a candle on the Bollinger Band like this and your VWAP line is below to that This is your 20 EMA. This is your lower Bollinger Band. If you find like this candle, candle should be more than 50% above to the Bollinger Band. If a candle forms on the top Bollinger Band line, candle 50% should be more than in this. And here is your entry. This is your SL. You can ride the trade till it walks on the band. This is called walking on the band. Price almost touching to the top Bollinger Band and it will be walking similar to that. Sometimes what will happen if the 20 EMA is close to that, it will come 20 EMA again, it will start walking. So this strategy will give you more profit. This is called walking on the band. The same thing in reverse way. This, this is lower Bollinger Band. If a red candle forms on the Bollinger Band and body should be more than 50% down. Entry, SL, candle should be forming on the band. If moving average is close to that, candles will glow, touch, again it will walk on the band. If you master this strategy, you will be having lot of success. Now let us see the walking on the Bollinger Band kind of a strategy, how that will work. <clears throat> we'll see couple of examples and uh, we'll wind up this thing and uh, in the next session, we'll see other part of our rest of the strategies. Can you identify walking on the body on the Bollinger Band? See this candle. 50% body is outside and uh, price is below VWAP line. Either you can enter here or else place the entry near to the Bollinger Band. Price almost will come to the Bollinger Band and come down or else you can place the Bollinger Band uh, below to the candle work. When price reaches to the VWAP line, you can have add additional quantity. Initial SL on the top of the candle and see how it is riding on the band. When price comes and you see any reversible candle, green candle inside, you can exit. See, getting inside also, it will take some time to get inside. So this is your profit. When you enter this trade at near the Bollinger Band, you will be having lot of success. one is to six kind of a thing. Even you can make out somewhere here, it will come around one is to four. Hope you understand this walking on the band concept. Let us see one in the buy side. This is short selling side, right? Walking on the band, we'll see on the buy side. When you become expert, if body is not meeting 50% also, you can easily make out.
<coughs> so we'll see one buy side and we'll close the today's trading See now, we have working on the band concept here, but this candle is not 50% above, right? 50% more than 50% below. Second candle doji, third candle, you don't find that, but still 40% I'll do a trading in this because I have some confidence working on the strategy from ages, so it's easy for me. But for you, initially start with working on the band concept at least in this way this is outside candle see outside candle when candle forms inside then you need to take entry here outside candle it reached vwap and it gone up so still you can trade here on the buy side outside the, the uh, working on the band kind of a thing you'll be getting lot of trades working on the band candle 50 percent below reach to the vwap see this big fall working on the band 50 percent above almost touching most of the candles and it end up somewhere here when price closes below vwap you need to exit but could be this is the last candle of the day this is the last candle of the day this is your profit, entire profit. See here, 50% above, you can take an entry. And when candle forms below to the VWAP line, you need to exit. So your entry, exit almost one in the same. Few times market may not support because of n number of global things. Either this candle, this candle is almost 90% outside the uh, occupying uh, top of the band. So entry, entry, SL, your profit. If you work 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3, then fix to that. Or else you should learn how to trial your profit trial your profit is most important that way you can grab most of the profit on single day one is to three if somebody working one is to three their target will hit one is to two their target will hit if you are trailing then what will happen after entry after two candle formation your sl will come to close to your this thing from there you will be trailing candle by candle candle by candle somewhere here you will be your sl will be hitting somewhere here by then you will be getting one is to two easily hope you understand this concept i am telling again and again if you master this art on bollinger band that itself have inbuilt different different setups and slowly steadily you'll understand lot of lot of inbuilt bollinger band setups we discussed today five setups and i also told how on range mount market we need to work how on bullish day we need to work how bearish day we need to work and plotting two bollinger bands how we need to work so now in the next class we'll see w pattern m pattern green candle forms bb out red candle forms below bb with psr bb with uh, vwap we'll discuss in the next uh, next video till then bye bye